Oh Yang, so this is going to be a masculine reading for May the 20, sorry, April the 24th until May the 3rd. I hope you're all doing well. So I'm going to do a split elemental reading. Um, yeah, do a quick reading. I'm not even attaching my intro to the videos because I want to get them out for you. Okay, so I, yeah, I'm... So the way this works is there's four elements, uh, one soul ca card. Anytime a, a chakra shows up, I put it at the top. So I just keep pulling the cards until each position is filled, like each element is filled. And then hopefully I won't continue to pull like I did the last time. Okay, so let's begin. So base chakra. Feeling alone in the 3D. Um, yeah, okay. So the ego for the 3D also. Uh, zero point, which is air. The third eye chakra. Calmer waters. Father Earth. One love for the emotions, uh, transformation, moving on, firm foundation, free thinker, the moon, high priestess, strength, finally. And just one card from the bottom for the soul is Stagnation, Four of Cups. Okay, so your soul for the next week is possibly in a ghosting energy. Um, you're pulling your emotions away in order to focus your attention on yourself, what you're projecting out into the universe. You're dealing with, um, you know, inability to really fully receive love and give love so that's how you're feeling you know in your soul that things aren't moving forward um, you're um, either neglecting or feeling neglected so let's go right to your emotions what's happening here so the ace of cups um, was the first card to come out so this is one love this is true love so it's like you're beginning from this state of unconditional love but this card only shows up when you've done your work and we can clearly see that you're moving into a phase of dealing with your shit basically we got the death card which is transformation so this love this unconditional love this desire to pursue this love is causing a transformation death of the ego death of your identity and so you're walking away from an emotionally draining situation, um, you know, leaving eight cups behind, leaving things behind that you are emotionally invested in, completely cutting your your ties emotionally. And then we got the moon, which is, you know, facing your fears. And this card out, showed up in the Twin Flame reading as well as the High Priestess card. So there's this sense of going deep within really looking hard at yourself at you know self analyzing um, disconnecting from emotionally toxic situations facing your fears and discovering answers so you're in this uh, listening phase and that actually showed up really strong in the, the twin flame but also you know disconnecting cutting things away that no longer serve you really trying to have foresight about the future also so what's happening mentally we have the zero point um, and calmer waters you know this is beginning a new phase of your life the zero point is taking a leap of faith having no attachments whatsoever starting anew so mentally there's this shift uh, into a new beginning um, you know, making decisions that are best for you, but also taking a chance on things. Now, the free thinker could be you 
having all these scattered thoughts and not really being able to make decisions, feeling maybe pulled in different directions, wanting to take a leap of faith but feeling bonded to something, but ultimately making a decision to free up these thoughts, um, return to a state of zero point or oneness with yourself. But there's answers you're looking for. So in the 3D reality, the masculine feels alone, disconnected, feels like they don't have any help, and possibly feeling like they have a lot of financial burden, responsibilities. Um, the ego is really playing a part here, whispering in your ear, telling you you need this, you, you don't have that. Ultimately, you are moving into a more secure... Um, you know, doing what you love, but also really detaching from the ego and finding your freedom in order to, you know, feel successful in doing the thing that you love. But there's this new venture possibly that you're you're pursuing and you're starting to see payoff from it. Um, but the ego is, is there. You feel that you don't have any help, but at the same time, you feel like you're making headway, but there's a lot of responsibility weighing on your shoulder. Um, and spiritually, we have the strength card, which is a humbled energy. It's gentle, nurturing, kind, um, helping hand, you know. So either this could mean the masculine, you feel you need to reach out. Uh, that was the message in the Twin Flame reading. Um, you know, talk about things. Um, find a friend, you know, that kind of thing, because you are definitely going through um, something emotionally that is making you feel insecure. Um, you're wondering if you should leave the situation, you're wanting your freedom, you don't know what to do. Um, so, you know, I think the main thing that's shining through is in this intuitive ability. If you look at the chakra cards we got the base chakra which is insecure um, not feeling like you have a safe environment or home you're not providing but looking for answers with the third eye going within um, taming that beast um, you know if you feel alone reach out but that you are purposely finding cal a calmer place so that you can think and um, discover yourself or some answers so third eye chakra will is the right way to go so very introverted energy for the masculine okay so one final message from the universe for the masculine mermaid with pink lotus so this is all about self-love and that was the message for the twin flame reading um was self-love it's crazy how it's synchronizing here okay so the message is close your drowsy drooping eyes and come with me to paradise leave your cares for an hour to focus on floating flowers let the water soothe your flesh and leave you rested fit and fresh a fair maiden drifts languidly among the tangled lily pads in a tranquil lag lagoon oh my god a single pink lotus blossom adorns her hair a second floats nearby in a pool so relaxed is she that her slight movements do little to disrupt the surface of the water. So the message is make effort to relax. Yes, go do that for sure. Stop what you're doing and take a deep breath. It's time to relax. You're not selfish and that could be a blessing. Helping your loved ones is important. Yes, um, it's an important part of who you are. But sometimes it's okay to set aside your worries about others and take some time for yourself yes self-love maybe you're feeling stressed or overwhelmed try not to let it wear you down instead try these relaxation techniques to improve your health and well-being number one close your eyes and imagine a personal paradise what do you see here and feel let yourself become engulfed in these sensations allow your breathing to become slow and even and notice your energy flow throughout your body this will help you feel refreshed and rejuvenated <clears throat> number two Take in from the mermaid friend and let yourself be soothed by calming waters. Yes, calming waters, right? Um, walk near a beach or lake or rest near a babbling fountain can bring inner tranquility. And, and it's almost like we see you going on a little hike or something. Number three, are you finding it difficult to relax? A change in environment can be most helpful in reducing stress. A short getaway from a 
for pampering at a spa could be just what your body and mind need to chase away the stress. Yes, right. Going within, finding that peace, that tranquility, leave those cares um, behind. All right, so I hope this helps you guys. I love you so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to order my deck, you can reach me at sherry shock at hotmouth.com. All the information is in the description box below. All right, cheers.